Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 1 Blind. Because I haven't played it before. Surprisingly enough. Um, I haven't played this in quite a few days now. And uh, let me get my bearings. We're in the Brotherhood of Steel base. And uh, I have no clue what we were doing. We were talking to this guy who told us to get lost. Um, we probably can't go there, Brotherhood card. Well, I'm just gonna talk to named people. I already, already see where the scribe is. There's a lot of these guys here. Thomas, Matt, Brotherhood student, Talus. I think we need to talk to Talus. Looking good. Keep up the good work. Okay. Well, hey. Only scribes and paladins are allowed in this room. Okay. Michael. Hello, brother. How can I help you? Please excuse me for asking, but what do you do for our brotherhood? Our brotherhood? I'm, I'm not... Am I part of the Brotherhood? Well, actually I am, because I went to the Glow and retrieved that holodisc. Oh, nothing quite as glorious as our paladins. I just run the supply room, checking equipment and other supplies out to people. I'd like to check out something. How do I do that? You need to have the proper authorization. Only specific people can give authorization to check out items from the supply room. Who can give me authorization? Uh, oh, okay, thanks. Who do I need to talk to, then? Well, there are quite a few people, actually, but Talus is the person you should probably talk to. You might also want to check with Mathia. Mathia? Or, oh, Mathia. She might be able to help you, too. Where can I find Mathia? Mathia is Maxon's assistant. She is technically the High Elder's assistant, but she works with all the other Elders. She is normally in the Elder's room. That's located on the fourth floor. Okay, where's Talus? Why? He's in the training room to my left. Thanks. Talk to you later. All right. Let's go talk to Talus. Keep your eyes on me. Hello, you must be the outsider initiate. N nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Who's the leader of this or of your organization? Now it's your instead of ours? That would be the Council of Elders. More specifically, the High Elder Maxon. The Elders make all the major decisions around here. If you need to speak with them, you'll find them on the fourth floor. So what do you do? I'm the senior paladin, Rhombus' right hand man. We're in charge of the paladins and knights. Right now, I'm supervising training exercises. We're getting ready for anything. You're getting ready for what? There are rumors of a large force moving around the mountains and the desert. With the missing caravans and these rumors, we're just playing it safe. Really? Okay, thanks. Oh. <laughs> um, who are the important people around here? Well, we are all important, but I know who you are referring to. There's Rhombus, he's our head paladin, also known as the Master Knight. Then there's Vri, she's the Master Scribe. And of course we cannot forget our distinguished High Elder Maxon. Tell me about Rhombus. Rhombus is my best friend, mentor, idol, and father figure all combined into one. He's a little rough, but he has to be, to be in the position he's in. If you ever need to talk to him, he is normally in his office. I mean, room. That's on the other side of this level, across the uh, from the guard. I've already talked to him. Tell me about Vri. Vri is one of the most intelligent people I've ever known. I think she was born with a natural understanding of physics and chemistry. Well, I have intelligence 10, so I'm gonna put that to test. <clears throat> she spends every waking moment doing research or analyzing and reanalyzing anything she can get her hands on. If you... <laughs> Dirty mind. If you ever need to talk to her, she can normally be found in her room on the third floor. Tell me about Maxon. Max's son is one tough old man. He's the great-great-grandson. Was it great-great-great-grandson? Well, anyway, he's the, he's the descendant of our, one of our founding fathers. He, of course, is the High Elder. That's it, thanks. Alright, um... How can I get some better equipment and weapons? I can help you with that. As an initiate, you are entitled to a few things. I'll put in a clearance for combat armor and three orders for ammunition, bullets of your choice. Damn it, I don't want combat armor, I already have it. Just see Michael in the next room for the supplies. Thanks. What about some high-tech weapons? Hmm, I don't know. You may have proven yourself to be an initiate, but that doesn't mean we start handing over weapons to someone that might not be qualified, especially an outsider. No offense. I really need some better firepower. Great! What do I have to do now? Climb the highest mountain? <laughs> You've built quite a reputation for yourself. The people I've checked with hold you in high regard. I don't think you need any help. You seem quite capable. However, if you help me with a little problem, I might be able to reward you with something. Sure. What's the problem? 
I sent one of our initiates out to the hub a short while back, and we haven't heard back from him. If you can find out what happened to him, I'd be very grateful. I'll check it out. Thank you. I'll remember this, and when I've seen that you've gained enough experience, I might be able to give you something special from our order. I hope that means power armor, because I think this uh, power armor is the best in the game. Doesn't really look nearly as good as the advanced power armor. Um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, where do we get our stuff from here? Let's see. No, only scribes of paladins. No, no, no. Well, he did give me permission to get some stuff. So where do I get it? Yeah? Computer console! <coughs> nope. That does nothing. Are they gonna be happy? Oh, this is open. Okay. So we can just steal everything if they had anything. Which they don't. You know, I hate close. I hate also closing doors in Fallout. <laughs> I really do. <clears throat> I despise them because every time... Whoa, that's a weird elevator. Every time you... What? Just go in. What? There we go. That's weird. Alright. Uh, what is this? Scribe, knight, scribe, instructor of the for the Brotherhood initiates. Alright, let's go talk to him then. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but I can't talk right now. I have a class to run. Hmm. See, if this was real, this uh, apocalypse, this would definitely be a very good place to be. I mean, clean stuff, secure, high-tech weapons, shelter, food, uh, lots of... Oh, man, is long. Lots of people that, you know, will protect you and you are supposed to protect them. I mean, it's brilliant. Would definitely want to be here. This is probably the medical area. All of this is locked. <clears throat> Jerry, a young initiate. Hello, Jerry. Hi there. You must be Brotherhood. Me uh, <laughs> Brotherhood. It must be Brother Metal Canyon, the new initiate from the outside. My name's Jerry. I'm your new roommate. I'm an initiate too. I've been studying so hard. Are you an initiate knight or scribe? Huh. I haven't decided. Yeah. I'm still trying to decide. It's so tough. They're both really exciting. By the way, if you want the top bunk, just let me know. I don't mind. Thanks. Bye. Are you alright? Maybe you need to see the doctor, or maybe you just need some sleep. Well, I better get back to studying. Bye. <coughs> okay. Are we irradiated or something? I don't really need that. Yeah, look. Nice, nice clean bathrooms. Showers. Clean water. Protection from radio. I mean, you've got everything here. Everything. So, getting into the Brotherhood would probably be a very good decision if you wanted to survive in the wasteland. She just likes to tease, don't worry. What? Hello, how can I help you? I'm radiated. <laughs> radiated. Irradiated. Radiation is very dangerous. You should be more careful. Oh, excellent. Okay, there you go. I hope the foam didn't irritate your skin. <clears throat> well, thank you. Uh, do you do operations? But of course, but it's very costly and time-consuming. Details? Well, I can help you make you stronger. Oh, more perceptive, increase your endurance, help improve your learning process and increase your dexterity. Bloody hell. Which would you like more information on? I can only do each operation once. Uh, well, obviously strength first. That's easy to do, but there's a long recovery time. It only ta uh, costs 2,000 scripts, but takes three weeks to heal. I wonder why some of them say scripts and some of them say, say caps. Yeah, definitely want uh, strength, because then we'll be at five and won't have the um, penalties. Okay, here goes nothing. Just kidding. We can start right away. She, she gas cases? Why aren't there supposed to be two asses there? She gasses you and slowly you slowly slip away. <clears throat> Excellent. So how are you feeling? Oh, how are we feeling? You can already tell the difference. You're quite a talkative person in your sleep. You're free to go. Good day. Bloody hell. Five strength now. Excellent. I wonder how much actual time I still have. I, I think there is no... Um, uh, time limit now or actually there is but it's quite long. What was this? Oh, this is minimum strength six. Oh. 
Okay, well, still alright, because we're still very good with uh, laser... I mean, energy weapons. Uh, this is minimum strength 4... Minimum strength 3... Yeah, okay. Well, it's nice, because it also increased our... Um, carry weight. <clears throat> I'm injured. What? Ah, of course, because... Uh, Fallout 2's formulas for hit points take uh, stuff from endurance and strength. As you can see, modify hit points. So now that we have more strength, we also have more hit points. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, oh, wait. Perception, endurance, agility. Perception, endurance, agility. Okay, so perception and endurance I could use. Okay, perception. Now that's a difficult operation. It costs 4,000 scripts, but the recovery from the operation is only a week. Barter. Okay, I'll do it. Out with the old and in with the new. You drop like a rock into the abyss. Yeah, she's gonna change my eyes. You look exactly the same, but how do you feel? All of your senses feel much sharper. Well, you're ta uh, taking up valuable bat space. Get going. Well, this is ridiculous. Look at that. 10, 10, 10, 9... <laughs> uh, Alright, don't mind if I do endurance. Uh, endurance. This one's not that difficult. It takes about a week and will cost 3,000. I'll do it. I hope you have a heart. She winks at you as you fall under. <laughs> well, you look a little bulkier. You feel great. Well, let me know if there are any problems. Bloody hell. Um, what else is there? How many... How much money do I still... Only a thousand left. Okay, fair enough. Agility and intelligence. I'm sorry, but this operation will not help you because you're too smart already. <laughs> agility. I'm sorry, but this operate. Oh, yeah, of course. Agility is 10. Well, excellent. Perfect. Because we spent all our money. So, that's pretty darn good. <clears throat> Nothing here. Apparently. Whoa! Um, I'm going to save and then take all that. I'm not sure they're going to like it, but hey, it's here for the taking, right? I don't know, she's standing right in front of it. These are super stim packs, and uh, yeah. Psycho, Radaway, Mantats. Sorry? No? Okay. She doesn't mind, that's good. Bloody hell, we've just increased our base stats. See, that's what I really like about this. Um, the base stats are really important and very difficult to come by, so when you get base stats increases like this, it's a big deal. Uh, this is where the armory is, I believe, as well. Hmm. Can I go in? Hey! What's that? Stay sharp, initiate! Hello! What's here? Well, these guys seem to be... Yeah, Vri, there we go. Sophia, an instructor for the Brotherhood Initiates. Greetings. Ooh. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? I know you're the master scribe, but what does that mean? I record the knowledge of our ancestors for future generations. Interesting. That means you know stuff. Yes, I guess you could say I know stuff. What can I help you with? I'd like to know more about the weapons we make here. Speak to the knights. Ask them to show you one of the latest laser pistols I designed. I've got another question. Go ahead. <clears throat> I heard something about holodisks. How can I read them? Use your Pip-Boy 2000 to read the discs. Insert the disc into the reader. If you have the proper computer skills, you should be able to scan the data. Where can I learn the computer skills? The Brotherhood has some automated courses that you can take. Here, I'll show you. Oh, excellent. So that will increase my science? Did it? I don't know. Mm. What can I help you with? How can I prevent radiation poisoning? You would need some anti-radiation drugs. I have some. Take these immediately if you think you're near radiation. Go ahead. Thanks. What's causing all the mu mutations? Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. Why do you say that? All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Interesting theory. Any proof? Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. 
Thanks. Okay, interesting. She also, she also gave me anti-radiation drugs, which, yeah, right away, I, th I believe. <coughs> it's a strange marking, holodisc. You know, I forgot to use the um, radio when I was at the cathedral. I need to do that. There we go, Reese autopsy report. Let's see that. Pip boy status. This is truly amazing. Some of the knights on a patrolling expedition came across an unusual creature. This creature appears to be humanoid and quite possibly was once of a human state. However, there are many differences in the structure of this creature than that of a normal uh, of normal humans. In the initial investigation of this creature, it is discovered to have a cellular structure akin to that of humans. Before any possible decomposition can take place, I am taking down the statistics of this subject. 3.2 meters in height! Bloody hell! 363 kilograms! Gender, indeterminate. Skin color, predominantly gray with tints of green under the current lighting system. Uncertain if this is due to decay or exposure in the wastelands. Note, the skin is extremely tough with respect to scalpels. Mus loads of muscle mass, la la la. <clears throat> Cells undergo cellular division at an increased rate. Mitosis occurs at a rate 15% quicker than that of normal humans. Cellular structure appears to be highly similar to humans. Genetic structure shows a strong correlation between the subject and Homo sapiens. Possible a mutation from the nuclear and biochemical agents remnant from the war. DNA strands appear to be very complete. All recessive genes for ailments appear to have been eradicated from the system. The RNA strands also appear to have been manipulated to allow for a greater transmission of signals. Initial hypothesis. Based on the increased size of the neural transmitters and synaptic receivers, I would hyp hypothesize the subject had acute reflexes and heightened senses. Based on the reports of the night, uh, the knights gave of the area in which the subject was discovered, barren, high radiation, extremely high concentration of chemical agents, it is a wonder the subject survived as long as it did, performing tests to determine possible cause of death. Visual inspection. Black powder burns near the area suggests possible bullet. 1.2 centimeters lacerations upon the calf on the right leg appear to have been made by teeth. Will conduct tests for possible rabies. Skin dried out and flaking. Possible exposure. Radiation count 12 rats. Clean, clean. Chlorine. Face shifting virus. What? Clean. Gamma. Cyclotronic virus. Clean. Forced evolutionary virus. 2. Severe overdose. Based on my observations, I would hypothesize, um, hypothesize that the test subject has been killed in a severe fight of at least two people and three animals the size of dogs. What is truly astonishing is the extent of viral infection in the subject. I had read once that some pre-war scientists were conducting experiments with such a virus, but all of the research notes were destroyed. Research into the virus has led... <laughs> lead led to many interesting discoveries. The test subject has gained many of its mutations from the overdose of the virus. This would account for the enhanced muscle and bone structure. Additionally, the recessive genes, which are commonly found in humans, have been manipulated in such a way to, as to bring about the best possible combination. While the process by which this uh, happens is uncertain, it does have some severe side effects. Chief among them is sterility. The test subject would have been unable to reproduce with any creature, whether clean or mutated. Other side effects include an alteration of pigment of the epidermis, the life expectancy is increased by 10%, intellect is decreased by this strain by 30%. Conclusions? Based on this information, I would extrapolate that we could simply outlive these mutants. However, based on the fact that these mutants have a super high concentration of the virus, it stands to reason that there could be some place which is creating them. As to where they could be, I cannot hazard a guess. Well, that's interesting and uh, kind of worrying. <clears throat> oh, where did you go? Anyway, use this terminal to learn the basics of computer operation. Excellent. We'll do that next time then. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.